Ladies and gentlemen, Lumberjack here in another collection update video. And again, I'm making these for insurance purposes in case something happens. I have a record of this that I can just say, hey, look here, if you need to, if you need a, a list, if you need to see video evidence that I have these things, check the collection fits playlist on my YouTube channel. Okay, there's your explanation. Now, I was going to do this update on the Christmas stuff in, you know, in December of 2021, but with all the supply issues, some of this stuff did not arrive until the making of this video, which is the middle of January, so there you go. Okay, item number one. Yep. Probably one of the most famous themes ever for a show, Linus and Lucy, right there. There you go. Boom. Okay. And as you can see, my pop cans there. The next one. Anybody who's seen my previous videos detailing my collection of CDs should not be surprised by this one. Right there. Lionel Richie. Yep. And you know what? On the theme of Lionel Richie, <laughs> uh, this next item, it's Easel. It's Easel like Sunday morning. So I'm Easel. I'm Easel like Sunday morning. <laughs> Yes, I have an easel because I've gotten into painting and um, in a second I'll show my painting collection. Um, anybody who knows anything about me knows that, that as far as I'm concerned this is the greatest comedian of all time. The next stuff is going to surprise you, but if you've seen any of my previous DVD videos, it shouldn't surprise you at all. And what I have to say about this next one is, may the Azure Lanes bless you with calm winds and fair seas. Yep, there it is, the Azure Lane show. And yes, if you've seen the videos, I have played the game. I, I haven't owed... Belfast, but I have Oath and Enterprise. And I may or may not have mentioned this before. It's possible I did, but according to family lore, which may or may not be true, um, my great uncle Edwin, or was it my great uncle Eugene? was on board the Enterprise during his na his career in the Navy. And we're talk I'm talking CV-6, not CV-65 or CV-66 or whatever the um, Enterprise was during the 1960s and 70s when the Star Trek show was going on. And quite frankly, to be, be accurate though, if... If we're going to name, if the Enterprise in Star Trek is going to be named after any vessel named Enterprise, it probably would have been CV-6, because that's the Enterprise that was in the Navy when, likely when Gene Roddenberry was in the Navy. But I may just be grasping at straws, as they say. And, uh, by the way, you like my uh, garbage bag where... All of my uh, bottles and cans are. <laughs> Next one is... Say what you want to about this, but I really like this one. Not just because of, you know, the pretty ladies and all, but I, I found it to be an interesting story. I don't have the two movies. Those I do have to get. I do have to get the two movies, but I do have the show. 
And this one I also enjoyed. It is Chivalry of a Failed Knight. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I know what this is go what you're gonna say about this one, but I just the the whole premise of this and you know the premise of the show and I only got I only got around to seeing the first like two or three episodes before the licensing and all that stuff it just it disappeared. So when I when I found this when I found this for sale, I I had to get it. And it's Armed Girls Machiavellianism. Yep. Um um, this one, um, my cousin, one of my many cousins, one of my many female cousins, and I know what you guys, I know what you folks say, but I mean, my mom was the, was the second of six kids. My dad is either the third or fourth of five kids. So yeah, I have a lot of cousins. <laughs> And it is Sotokano. Yep. And for the record, I'd either take the one on the left or the one on the right. Or both, you know. Harem route, what the hell? <laughs> Although, to be quite frank, in real life, the harem route is a fantasy because most ladies are not going to want to share a guy with anyone. And this, um, I ha I still have this on my PS3. The problem is, is the PS3 doesn't turn on, probably because the power, I, I would imagine the power supply is dead in my PS3. So, I got... This... Scott program the game for PS4. And finally to round out, one of the very first movies that Mark Harmon was in. I've been looking for this for a while and I found it. I found it on a secondhand DVD site. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, we gotta get I gotta get this. This Everything else that you see here was from relatives. This one here is my for me to me Christmas gift, and that is summer school. Yeah, Courtney Thorn Smith, Mark Harmon, Christy Alley. Yeah, summer school. <laughs> um, now, um, now let's just make a quick trip around. And I'll show you, um, uh, like I said, I've gotten into painting. I have all of these colors. Uh, we got titanium white here. We have cobalt turquoise. Uh, alizarin crimson. Oh, what's that one? Yellow ochre. That one's bone black. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um... Turquoise, that oh thalo turquoise. Okay, um, Prussian blue. We have thalo blue, cerulean blue, and what's this one? Oh, red light. It's red light. Um, what else we got here? Um, okay, that's cobalt blue, Van Dyke brown. Oh, where we get? Oh, that's sap green. Raw sienna. Yeah, oh, yeah, here we go. Burnt sienna. Okay, that's burnt sienna. Oh yeah. This one's Arteza Mar Mars black. Um, Arteza titanium white. 
our Tezethalo Blue. Um, here's a whole collection of paintbrushes, some uh, canvas panels. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to use these, but these are all kinds of glow paints. I don't know. And uh, of course, I got brushes and stuff. I really haven't done much painting yet because I'm still trying. I'm still trying to figure out what I really want to do painting wise. But, but for the most part, there's all the stuff. You can see um, my bread rolls here because I'm going to make my, going to be making some burgers later. You know, and in case you're wondering, yes, it is 441 a.m. I am a bit of a night person, okay? Okay. When I'm at when I am at work and I today's my day off. Today's a day off because you know I'm filming this, you know, um Martin Luther King Day was yesterday as the day I'm filming this and you know, it's a holiday so we get holidays off, but because I work nights, you know, I since my work nights is 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., you know, since, you know, Martin Luther King Day was yesterday, and yeah, I would have started at 10, but, you know, it was how, you know, I got, I was, I'm off today. That's why I made this video at 4.41 a.m., because, you know, I work nights. And before anyone says anything, I have absolutely no problem working nights. I, uh, I much more prefer nights than day than working days. I don't really care about missing anything because, well, Hulu, Disney Plus, Netflix exist. So yeah. All right. Well, I think I've rambled on enough. As always, I've been Lumberjack. Try to behave yourselves. I'll see you all next time, and uh, peace.